Hi everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I am here today with the Killa Kit for my Firefly Ephemera Collage Kit. This was the Love, is it Love? Yes, the Love Edition, I just, um, or Love Collection. I just put the price on here so I would, would remember. I purchased this at Tuesday morning for $3.99, and I believe you can get these at, or at least this type of, product at Hobby Lobby, but I'm not 100% sure. So if somebody else knows, make sure you chime in in the comments below. But basically, I did an unboxing kit for this, and if you missed that, look in the description box below. There will be links to this, to the unboxing as well as process videos for all of these. But basically, it had, <coughs> excuse me, it had 5x7 papers. I think it had one 3x4 card. It had die cuts. It had, um twine, it had ribbon, it had sequins, it had some chipboard, it also had some acetate and then some clips and things. So I'll show you what I have left. I'm going to call this one killed because I don't have any more paper and yes I could add paper but I also have tons of kits that I can work with so I'm going to go ahead and move on to something else and just put this in my stash to continue to work with. But I was pleasantly surprised with this one. I really wasn't sure what to expect. It had a lot of die cuts but you really didn't see that from the package because um, this is pretty much what you see, which looks like a lot, but then again, you can't really tell. And um, just from the package, you just couldn't really see what was in here. So I was pleasantly surprised, and I would definitely purchase one of these again. They have different um, themes. I've seen them more of them still at uh, Tuesday morning. I think there's like a faith one. There's a family one. I think there was a travel one. I'm not sure what else they have, so I would probably keep an eye out for these. Just personally, I'm going to kind of keep an eye out for these. So let me show you what I have left and what I made. So I just had it in my little box here. This is what I have left. I'll show you the papers first. Or the scraps of the papers, rather. And then some little pieces here. I think that is it for the papers. Yes, so those are all the papers I had left. That's it. Not much really to work with. I'll probably keep those and I probably won't. Well, I'll keep that as a scrap. But the rest of this is just going to go in the trash. So I will keep that. I also had the twine. I really tried hard to use this twine on a filler card in a Project Life spread that I did, but I just couldn't make it work. I was having problems with the twine for whatever reason. Um, I used all of the acetate pieces. I used pretty much half of the chipboard. I didn't use any florals. There are a decent amount of florals in this kit, which you'll see, but I didn't really use them. So I have some chipboard left. Um, I also have put the rest of the sequins in a little bag. I did use some, but not very much. I have the binder clips like left. I think they're really cute. This one says, hello, love, and that says our story, but these are too bulky for me to put in my um, album. It just is too much. And the same thing for these. It's just too bulky. And then the same thing for these. I just don't use them. They're too bulky for me. I, I put a lot of pages in an album and I cannot have that bulk in there. So I don't use them on pages. However, I will keep them in my stash and I will use them on cards. And I'm thinking about adding one of these to my planner because I just think it's cute. Maybe the Hello Love. Um, I played around with the buttons a little bit, but I didn't really use them. So I have those left. And then I have some die cuts. The, this part is just trimmed off of a die cut that I had already used. And then these I had punched out to use, but did not end up using them. And as you can see, let's see here. As you can see here, I have a lot of die cuts left. Originally I had thought to punch everything out, but I decided not to do that. I felt like I could see it a lot better if it was list if it was together. Um, so I have a lot of words and I loved this one. On this particular one, I have the florals. There are four florals here, two here and one here, an arrow and then a tag. So I have all the florals left. As I mentioned before, I didn't really use those. I um, have some circles, some photo corners. The other one is in here. I thought I was going to use it, but I didn't. A floral and an envelope. And this one I almost used it up completely. There are four die cuts left in envelope. Hashtag, so this is love, an arrow, and then a speech bubble. So I used up... I thought I had pretty good usage out of this for $3.99. As you can see, there's the rest. For $3.99... 
<laughs> that's pretty good. So I'm going to kind of disperse this into my stash. The little bits and pieces will go in my little um, miscellaneous box that I keep on my desk here. It'll go in here. And, oops. And I'll pull from that periodically. Um, and then like the rest of this will kind of go with the with how I store those types of products. So let me move this out of the way. Let's move it. This one was really fun to work with. I was I had a lot of fun with that. Okay. Then I made four layouts. I have two Project Life pages and then two 12 by 12 pages. So this was the first one I created. Ooh, they're falling. Well, this is the first um, page I made, and I used the majority of this ribbon here. This was like a velvet type ribbon that came in the kit. And then I just used a white cardstock as my background and I used some vellum here to do some journaling on it. I had a lot of journaling that I wanted to include. And then of course all the die cuts. I added obviously the um, thickers here and it just says pumpkins in a hayride. Um, but, and then a f this teal paper is added from my stash but everything else came from the kit. I love the little acetate pieces. Those were fun. Right. Next we have this one which is called Field Trip. I added some alphas. They, they went really well with the photos as well as um, kind of this craft color paper. This is the only little attempt I had at or successful attempt I had at including some twine and I really don't like the way that it looks but it's there and it's fine. But I, as you can see, well, actually, I don't know if you could see, if you didn't watch the process videos, all of these photos are from October of 2015. There's some different fall events that we did as well as some Halloween pictures that you're going to see here in a moment. But the, um, the kit had black, white, yellow, and kind of craft. That was pretty much the color scheme. And they fit really well with fall photos. Like we have a hayride. We have bales of hay with a big slide on it. We have um, pumpkin patch. We have corn. So like it all kind of fits really well together. Oh, I forgot. I did use, and here's a little bit of that twine again. I used the little metal charm that was in the, in the kit. I forgot that was in there. And then I used the rest of that um, black velvet ribbon here. Here is another one. This is a 12 by 12 page. I added, of course, the white cardstock as well as this um, uh, black and cream text paper that was from, if you watched my unboxing, I had shown you a few things that I had added or pulled out to work with the kit if I needed them, and that came from that paper pad. I um, also added doily and then some like copper toned um, tissue paper and white cardstock, of course. Did some stamping, used a lot of the little die cuts. Um, this silver foiled 3x4 card was the only 3x4 card that came in the kit, and it's like a silver foil. And then I added, of course, my alphas. But this one is called The Spiders Are Out, and it was about Kalen and his pumpkin that were both Spider-Man. It says, the spiders are out. Watch out. Spider-Man, a.k.a. Kalen, and his sidekick, Mini Spidey, a.k.a. his painted pumpkin, are out on the prowl tonight. It's Halloween night, and they are ready to roll. So if you happen to see any cute spiders roaming about, make sure to give them lots of candy and don't scare them too badly. They may frighten easily. <laughs> Have fun with that one. So there's that one. And then lastly, I have this one, which I kind of titled Spooktacular, and these are some photos just of uh, basically our Halloween celebration. Um, we had done an event at our gym, and then we had also went trick-or-treating with some friends on a hayride. So this was one night, not Halloween night, but a few days before, as my journaling states, and then this was Halloween night here. Now, there is one story that I did not tell that I think would be really cute to tell. So I might make some sort of insert, maybe like a uh, 4 by 12 little strip or something with um, the story of the gym. We, <laughs> we, <coughs> excuse me, we had went to a festival at the gym and they had a haunted house and oh my gosh, 
Kaylin, we I love haunted houses. It scares me to death. I will not lie. I get so freaked out, but I love it. I think I like the adrenaline rush of it. I don't, I don't know. I get so freaked out by things like that, but I love them. I, it never fails. I love them. I always do them, and I love them. But Kaylin decided he was going to do it, too, so we went as a family, and let me tell you, this kid pushed me. He got so scared. He pushed me in the wall and ran out the door. <laughs> He got so scared because his his basketball coach was actually one of the people that were dressed up um, in the haunted house. And they kept saying his name and like coming after him and it scared the snot out of him. <laughs> so um, I think I might tell that story and maybe just put it in a little insert. I'm not sure. That, um, that may be on the back burner, but I'm going to write that down as something to remember to do if I want to. But anyways, um, white card stock was added from my stash. This card came from Gossamer Blue Kit. This one is a Project Life card, just a miscellaneous one I had laying around. I don't know what collection it goes to. It's just like a yellow wood grain. And this one I just pieced together with some scraps. And then I think that's it. These little characters were from... Um, that Halloween night at the gym, they had given him a bunch of little tattoos, which you can see on his chest here. And they had little characters that he could punch out and use and just play with. So I had used them just as embellishments here. I thought they were kind of cute. I like that cartoony Halloween look. I've always been really big into Halloween-themed things. I don't do... No, I take that back. I actually loved themed products, but I have a harder time using them. And so, but for some reason, Halloween themed products don't bother me. I just, I love using them. So, um, they made an appearance here and I think it's funny because I didn't realize it until after I had, when I was gluing this one on, that he actually has that same little character tattoo right there on his chest. So I thought that was funny. And then this is just some gravestones that we saw while we were out trick or treating on the hayride. And that is it. That's all I have for this kit. That ends this one. I have no idea which kit is going up next. Now, I may have already shown you the unboxing, but at the point I am filming this, I have no idea what kit I will be using next. But I have a lot of options. So, stay tuned, and you shall see what I choose shortly. Thank you guys for joining me. I really had a lot of fun with this kit. I would highly suggest, if you happen to see them, pick one up. Um... Again, it is the Firefly Ephemera Collage Kit, and they do have embellishment kits, I think, that go along with them. They're not as big as this, um, but I want to say they're like $1.99 or $2.99, and so really, if you could find two kits that coordinate, it would be well worth the few dollars to go ahead and purchase both of them. That's it. Thank you so much. I will chat with you all later. Bye.